I am a painter who with oils and colors expresses the hidden view which we all see. As I stand at my easel, I am unable to stroke onto the canvas my view, for I have come to understand the truth. For I was born like any other, and through my long life I was taught all that I know now. Very little came from my own endeavor, and most of my foundation of my way was brought to me when I was but a child. Now I am grown, and I look through eyes that have been shaped, like how I shape the colors on a canvas to express a feeling to you. But it is a creation, a construct of sorts, and now I see my life too is the same. My parents were my painters. They took my blank canvas of a life and brought color and oils to it, as did teachers and friends and authorities. And then I was complete, a finished masterpiece, able to live on, but through the way I was painted. But now I see the hidden drawings, the sketches, the lines, the strokes, the colors emerge over to cover up mistakes. I see the lies, the lies of my existence. I am but a man who was shaped like every other. We all started off like me, a blank canvas. And now we follow in the way we were taught. But I, with my own mind, even though it has been shaped, I can think independent thoughts of a sort. Whether I can truly say they are mine, I am not sure. Not that I am insane or mad, but that I have been taught how to see, how to think, even how to feel. By so many, when I was a babe. But these thoughts I have, have shown me my existence too as a painting, that has been painted, a construct, not a reality as such, for I see in front of me a tree, but it is not a tree, what it is, I know not, nobody does, save God, if he does exist, for we found all this, like babies, and gave names to all around, and all accepted this, and made up words and meanings to all that is around us. But how do I now forget, forget as a painter I am, construct views and feelings every day, that what I am and what I see is but a mere painting. I am an observer, a viewer, like a man in a museum seeing my painting, but we are within this living painting, and the living paintings ourselves. I wonder to myself, can I then, like a painter, change what I see in front of me? And yes, for that tree, I can call another name. And so it is, as long as we all agree. And the suffering that I've painted of children crying, as those they love die, of diseases long since cured, can I change this? But the problem is, I am merely a painting within a painting. And I have not the brushes or instruments to change these things, but I call out to you all that you must awake and see the painting within the painting and understand the meaning of such and begin the changes needed to make a mankind a masterpiece of true beauty of which it can be.